Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading for me. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely loyal subscribers, you guys know uh, why I'm away. Um, so it's not my usual setup. We just have to bear with me um, because I'm marrying my Pisces. So let me know if you're a Pisces and you too are marrying your soulmate here so let's see uh, what we have for you guys towards the end of may freedom <laughs> it's too late now it's hooked <laughs> um i feel like for you guys you are really embracing this beautiful energy which comes with freedom i tell people all the time being able to work for yourself it's not about money it's about the freedom um to actually live your life so i feel like some of you are wanting to be free uh from somebody here or something maybe your jobs you just want to be uh right now and embrace the beauty of the world and things like that triangle oh my god you're freeing yourself from a love triangle um let's see twin flame one did jump over and I think it was, I think it's karma, but I'll pull it. Yep. Okay. So. Your twin flame is, it dragged you into a triangle and you ended up being the one on the outside of the triangle. So I guess your twin or your partner is dealing with a karmic situation. Now, what this could mean is that your twin decided they wanted you back. They, what they planted, you wanted your freedom. So you may not want this person back because they dragged you into this, right? Um, so it's you enjoying your freedom from this. At least I don't have the burden of this, but it's not also forgetting this twin flame, right? It's like what will be will be and embracing it um, while they deal with their karma. So their karma might be you not wanting them back um, because we reap what we sow. And this lady here, if we look at her, she's like, hmm... I'm thinking, I'm thinking about it, but I choose freedom. <laughs> so, of course, I will leave information about what decks of cards I use in the description box, along with um, how to contact me for personal readings, because this is a general, may not resonate with you. The stories can go either way, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay, guys? Um, what can we say here? The twin flame journey is a very difficult i've been on it myself but i just told you what stage i'm at now um but we do have to clear a lot of karma to have this union okay um and do you even want it anymore you know you're like keep her keep him if you've gone there keep them who cares <laughs> let's see um mental conflict two of swords so some of you this person is now understanding why didn't i forget this other person why can't i forget this pisces why are they on my mind it's been so long why am i still dealing with this um my friend because we reap what we sow right um once you've met your twin flame, you never forget them. They change your life and you can never forget them. So this is indecision, holding them back. We can see that in the triangle too. This person like, hmm, hmm. So because they're umming and ahhing, you're like, I'm off. I am not an option here. You know, it's since I'm not your everything, how about I be nothing, right? Some of you have got Beyonce on. You're like, I'm off. Um this person is indecisive about who to choose, okay? It could be you, Pisces, um, Ace of Pentacles, but there's this offer of commitment coming here. 
I feel like this was something planted long ago. So this offer of commitment might be for you um, because this was something that was planted long ago. There's two hands nurturing it. it does take work. They are taking a long time to decide what they want, but what they come to is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so then the prosperity can begin in the relationship. Okay, then things can start to happen once they decide. Four of Cups. You, on the other hand, are bored with them feeling like they are the be-all and end-all and decision-maker. <laughs> um, so it can be in the beginning they rejected you for the other third party, um, a karmic partner. Um, but here, it might be now you rejecting them. Happens in a twin flame connection. Uh, the runners often become the chasers. We switch places. Um, happened in my connection too. Um, so this is discontentment and boredom in life here. Two of cups turning over in the deck. Um, but it seems like they are now feeling there's nobody else who they feel this way with. Two of cups there. They only feel that with you. Of course, you already knew that, but you're embracing that freedom. Um, the hermit there, that's because you looked within for the answers because initially they haven't given you the answers. So you had to go within, soul search here, find the answers within you and free yourself from, I guess, this love triangle. But look what's left after the triangle too. Um, it's like when there was with the other one and there was two, there was a third party situation. And then when it became two, they had this mental conflict. When it becomes two with you, they realize they're in the right place here. Um, the hermit here is them now going into hermit mode, mode and shining the light on this two of cups, like saying, this is where I'd rather be. Empress, you're the one for me. So by you being free and living your best life attracts them towards you because you're in Empress energy. Um, I always tell people if you want them or don't want them, let them go. They'll come back to you. So this is the runner now becoming the chaser because you're in the Empress energy. Cross watchers, it may be you that's in the Empress energy. Okay, five of wands. So where they're there's challenges and obstacles here, but they're not so big. I feel like this soulmate of yours, Pisces, created these challenges and obstacles. There may be just arguments and disagreements with you guys when you first initially get back together. Um, different opinions, right? Um, I feel like if anybody's placing the blame on another person, just let it go. Let it go. Um, because this energy doesn't stay around long. This can be something that can be overcome. It's that Aries energy. It's something that comes in quick, causes a bit of drama and then goes again. So just be aware of that. It could even be um, a mother who's causing this drama or disagreement with you. Maybe uh, your mother or your soulmate's mother doesn't want you two to be together. That could be the third party. So there's that sort of drama there, but they seem to choose you. Five of Pentacles, after leaving you out in the cold, then they realise they're now the ones out in the cold. They're the ones who lost something here. And they're seeing that because you're showing up as abundant with the Empress. Six of Swords, they're scared that you now have left them behind for good. They're scared that you've moved on for good. Um, this is long distance travel here. Um, so they could, you could be missing each other because you're at a distance from each other. You may have already decided to be together, but it's a long t distance relationship. And though feeling the lack energy, um, there may be some arguments in this long distance relationship when it comes to the end of the month, okay? Because Mercury wants you to communicate and if you guys are missing each other, you may misinterpret it or become frustrated and argue with each other. Those fives are feeling the lack. Um, so the lack of each other's presence. So that's what you guys are wanting. And I feel like you're moving towards it with the six of swords, um, but not quite there yet. The Justice card. 
more karma here <laughs> um, to deal with. So I guess it can be that, uh, let's say the mum or the parents are a karmic partner, a romantic person could be a karmic partner. It's all this past life history that you had together now being cleared in this life. And um, I feel like it can feel unjust at times that you can't be with each other when you, you both crave it, or at least one of you is craving it here. Um, but the work needs to be done. Okay, especially in a twin flame connection. I don't usually do them as general readings because it's a lot, <laughs> as you can see, it can be um, that, you know, a mother or a, pe a child or, you know, a sibling is a karmic partner and making trouble in your relationship. The lovers. You guys destin definitely seem destined to be together. Um, is a marriage card the justice card and like you guys know I'm here to do that um, but it seems like where there is lack there will be something it'll be like worth the wait I guess um, worth everything you've been through all the karma the clearing um, you'll finally get justice which is each other if you haven't met your twin flame, you could be about to meet them and there may be like these hurdles um, to be together. So it can be like you meet somebody, you're a different race, um, a different religion and, you know, these sorts of hurdles will come up in the relationship. Ace of Swords. The truth shall set you free though, you know. Um, cut off what's not serving you we've got to think positively six of swords is definitely about thinking positively to move forward if we have a problem we say okay this is the problem communication is going to be key if we don't communicate then we'll have these misunderstandings especially towards the end of may because mercury wants us to communicate um but <sighs> it's retrograde and so is Saturn and, you know, it, things have to be done the right way with Saturn. It won't let us take these shortcuts and things. So we have to have this honest conversation, even if it might be painful, even if we're scared of losing somebody, we have to have these honest conversations so that we can, I'm seeing like, make a path forward here. I'm cutting through trees, <laughs> make a path forward here the emperor okay so it will lead to you know this emperor and empress being together you you seem like you know you're made for each other here there's just a lot of karma along the way let's see if i can hold them I used to be really good at holding cards when i was a little girl <laughs> but now it seems like this you know um this is the one you're supposed to be with here um you know, you're showing up as Emperor and Empress and there's Two of Cups and this Twin Flame, but there's this karma between you both. Um, I promise you, if you do want to do the work, it's worth it. But if you're not going to do the work, I feel like find the Ace of Swords to free yourself from each other and say, you know, you're just not doing the kind of work that I need and I'm going to let go and let God and trust that um, whoever's meant for me will be coming my way. And there may be another soulmate that comes your way here that you're more happy with than an actual twin flame because there is so much work to do in a twin flame connection that it brings this it fears of rejection, abandonment, um, the, all this karma, all this karma that needs clearing. And like I say, the third party might not even be a romantic partner. So you have to think about I will say marry into this family and this mother-in-law or father-in-law or my mother and you know things like that there's a lot but in the end it definitely feels worth it with the lovers the two of cups the twin flame connection showing up as um, emperor and empress here you definitely seem made for each other up to you. I guess we'll see what you decided in June. Good luck, guys.